All right, guys. So today I'm going to go buy uh, the cheapest tractor and backhoe I could find on Craigslist. I know this is a lot of uh, buying videos and not a lot of repair videos recently. And that's just because I have to get stuff first to do repairs on them. And also because I don't have a lot of stuff to repair right now. But don't worry, I promise repair videos are coming back shortly after I'm done buying this tractor. Actually, we'll have the first repair video on my uh, Chevy S10 that I bought for $300. Um, so you may ask why am I at uh, my local auto shop? That's because I need to drive an hour and 45 minutes to get to the tractor and then I'm going to tow the tractor back home. And I have a pretty bad brake line leak in my Chevy S10 and I really want to get that fixed. I don't really want to do it myself because brake lines are just a dirty job and everything's rusty, dirty, and I need it done pretty much today. So just brought it down to my auto shop. They're going to do it for me. These guys are really honest, good deals. So, uh, yeah, once this is done, we'll grab the truck and we will head on down. All right, one of my friends picked me up in his uh, Volvo V70 because it um, turns out my truck is not going to be fixed until Monday. Today is Sunday, and I need to pick up the tractor today. So I'm going to have to go get my work truck again. All right, back in the warehouse. Uh, I'm just gonna steal one of these trucks. I'm gonna steal this one, but I'm sure she'll start right up. Yep. Also gonna rob this trailer to throw on the truck. Okay, uh, it took me a little while because it's kind of hard to hook this trailer up solo, but I got it. So let's get out of here. I'm just sitting here. So as you can see, we got the tractor on the back there. Uh, they were super nice, good people. We had uh, him and his dad, I think, helped us load it up. And um, we're gonna head home. Probably gonna get dark pretty soon, but uh, I think we made a good deal. We can sit too. All right, so I've uh, been on the road for about half an hour, taking a pit stop to fill up with gas so I don't run out like I did when I was picking up my S10. If you guys haven't seen that video, I recommend watching it. But uh, yeah, we won't run out of gas today. Got the tractor loaded up. It's uh, right at the trailer's limit. The trailer's limit is 4,000 pounds. This is, I think, 4,000 pounds. So it's at the limit, but uh, it's doing fine. Okay, so we're back. As you can see, it's dark. Uh, we're gonna unload the tractor here, and then I'm just gonna drive it the rest of the, the way home. So I don't have to try to turn around the trailer in our tight driveway. So let me unload the tractor. Okay, so we got all the uh, ratchets undone, so it's free to go. See how it starts up. So cycle the glow plugs for a couple seconds. Probably need to cycle the glow plugs a little longer than I did. All right. Say the lights work. Yeah, good. All right, now let's go ahead and drive it home. All right, boys, we made her home. Shut her off. Tell you guys more about her in the morning. All right, time to return the truck. All right, I got the truck put away. Pitch black outside, but we can finally call it a day. Go back home and in the morning, I will show you guys around my brand new to me tractor. All right, it's a new day. <clears throat> There's Beetle. She's got a cone on her head because she just got spayed until they put it on there so she can't lick her wound. It'll be off tomorrow. She's a little hyper right now after her spading also. But anyway, there's the tractor. 
Looks pretty good. Um, I'll tell you a little bit about it. Feel bad for poor Beetle getting spayed, but that's not the point of this video. The point of this video is this tractor, which was the cheapest working tractor with a backhoe and front end loader on Craigslist. So the title is not totally true. It's the cheapest working tractor I could find with a backhoe and a front end loader. With that said, I'm not going to actually tell you the price of it until the end of this video because I want you guys to try to guess either in the comment section or in your head how much I paid for it before I get to the end of the video to see what you guys think it's worth. So write down in the comment section what you think it's worth and then I'll tell you and we will see what, uh, what was correct. So with that in mind, uh, remember that like a brand new Kubota with these two implements costs upwards of $25,000 uh, for a, like a smaller one like this. One this size would cost you around $31,000. John Deere, same about price, maybe a little even more even. Uh, anyway, but this one is a 2006, so it's 12 years old. Um, if you wanted to buy a Kubota of this age on Craigslist, it's about $15,000. But since this is a really cheap knockoff, I'll tell you what, it was a bit cheaper than that. Let me show you a bit around it. This is called an Iron Horse 224. It's made by Jimna, which is a Chinese company. Um, but, you know, it works. I have a parts store near me for him. Uh, it's apparently really old technology on it too, so it's like working from a tractor a while ago, so easier to work on. Uh, so I thought, you know what, I'll just go with it. Let me open the hood for you. So, under here, we have a three-cylinder, 1.4-liter diesel engine. It's just a Chinese engine. Uh, it works. Sounded really good. I've heard of these lasting for a long time. This tractor is four-wheel drive. It has a three-speed uh, manual transmission. Clutches over there. Um, high and low range, so technically it's a six-speed with reverse. The backhoe back here is on the three-point hitch. You can also attach a brush hog or whatever whatever you want to the three-point hitch. So in the driver's seat, just got your uh, controls down here. That's all the lights. There's the key. Turn it to the left for glow plugs. Turn it to the right to start it. Here's your control for the front end loader. Uh, what else do we have? We have a block heater on the engine, which is great because it's going to get cold here. What are you doing, Beetle? You want to be in the video? It'll sit. Good girl, yes. Okay, well that just made me totally forget what I was talking about. Oh yeah, okay, it was the block heater. That's good for New England because uh, it gets a little cold in the winters. Here's the block heater, you just plug plug that in to the outlet. Uh, so that should help us start up. Today it's actually 39 degrees, so I'll do a little bit of a cold start for you guys. All right, I'm gonna edit the part out where I cycle the glow plugs because that takes about 30 seconds. All right, there she goes. Remember, that was 38 degrees outside, so uh, even colder last night. Probably got around to 28 degrees last night. But she uh, started up, sounds pretty good. Move around the front end loader for you guys.
All right, now I'll move the backhoe around. All right, there you go. I'll have to get used to the controls on the backup because they're... I haven't really used them before, but it's definitely a lot of fun. All right, let's take her for a spin. I'm in high range right now. This is my gear selector. I'm gonna put her in first gear to start. There's first gear. I'll take out the parking brake. And then this is the gas pedal right here. All right, so let's get going. Let's shift her into second gear. My second gear. First gear from this hill. Ugh. First gear from this hill. See how easy she starts back up when she's already warm. Anyway, what did I pay for it? Well, I paid a lot of money for me. And I certainly will not be uh, buying another thing for quite a while until I've made some more money back. Because this was uh, very expensive. Um wasn't $15,000, wasn't $30,000 like a Kabutta would have been. But it wasn't cheap. It wasn't $3,000 like a uh, maybe a really old Mitsubishi or an old Ford would it be. And it had implements, don't forget. And it's only 12 years old. And it works and everything goes. So with that in mind, I paid a little over $6,000 for this. So... I think it was uh, not a bad deal because everything works, but the other thing I think is that tractors are way overpriced because uh, this costs more than anything else I've bought. My truck only cost me $3,000, so yes, I paid $6,000, a little over $6,000 for it. Very expensive. Still the cheapest uh, front end loader and backhoe on Craigslist that work, but thanks for watching this video, guys. I promise videos of me fixing things will be back soon. Next weekend, I will have a repair video.